This is an iPod. My iPod. And I'm pretty darn proud of this thing. Well, why are you proud of it, you may ask? Well, let me give you a hint. Yep. It can also play Tetris. I mean, a bunch of other games as well, but I mean, this is the only, realistically, this is the only one we care about. Complete with weird Tetris music and all. Now, as you can't already tell, this is a Bluetooth iPod. Well, what else makes it so special, you may ask? Well, most iPods only come with three games. But as you can see, this one comes with about 16 plus those three. You may have seen videos of people playing Doom on these old things, but sadly that wasn't one of the original games uh, included with these iPods or one that you could ever download. Only 16 games that you could actually, you know, install on these things in the first place were ever cracked, meaning they used to be available, but now they aren't. So only 16 of them were ever cracked. Doom was never really developed for the iPod because, you know, you want to Doom on an iPod. If you want Doom on an iPod, you know, it's it's really hard to play, it's horrible to control, you know, but you can if you want to install a custom operating system on here called Rockbox. Well, why are you concerned about games on an MP3 player, you may ask? Well, it comes in handy more often than you might think. You could just be bored and you know, want to whip out something real quick to play a little game of Tetris. Now, if you're wanting to learn how to do this, you've come to the right place. In, later in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make an, a Bluetooth iPod exactly like this one. Maybe even install some games on there. So this is a comparison of the two Bluetooth transmitters. Here is the new Bluetooth transmitter. That is Bluetooth 5.0. This is Bluetooth 4.2. And it has horrible range. So we're going to toss that to the side. This is the new Bluetooth transmitter, it is Bluetooth 5.0, and it has hopefully a better range, but I haven't tested it yet, I probably should have done that beforehand. So let's put it in the iPod. This is our target. It's just a normal 5th gen iPod. Um, you can see I have an iFlash solo in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the battery out of the way, and take the iFlash solo out of the way. We're going to turn it so the camera can see it. So these two solder points here, you probably can't see them right, right there and there, are the uh, left and right audio channels. And this right here is positive and negative uh, power. And these two wires here are for the button controlling the Bluetooth module. So turning it on and off. So let's get started. So there we go, for the three people watching this, thank you for watching. Uh, I will have a pinout for the motherboard and the Bluetooth transmitter in the description below. And I will have also have a wiring diagram down there so that you can follow along and just kind of wire it up uh, the way I did it. So thanks for watching. Again, uh, to the three people actually doing this, you know, thanks. And I hope it works out well for you.